assalamu alaikum welcome all to easy human MTV channel in this video I discuss about twin twin are the two offspring produced by the same pregnancy type of the twin monozygotic or identical twin dizygotic or non-identical twin monozygotic twin they develop from one zygote which split into two sex always same Dizygotic twin, two separate ovum is fertilized by the two separate sperm. Sex, same or opposite. This is monozygotic twin, the single ovum is fertilized by the single sperm, single zygote and this zygote is split and produce identical twin. This is two ovum, two separate ovum is fertilized by the two sperm, two zygote is formed and these two zygote is formed to separate non-identical twin. The classification of the twin pregnancy according to the number of the chorion and amnion. In normal pregnancy, single fetus always contains single chorion, single placenta and single amnion. But in twin pregnancy, two fetus are present. But the chorion, chorion and amnion number is different in each twin pregnancy. They may be dichorionic, diamnetic twin pregnancy, monochorionic, diamnetic twin pregnancy, and monochorionic, monoamnetic twin pregnancy. In dizygotic twin, dichorionic, diamnetic twin pregnancy is seen. In monozygotic twin, these three patterns of twin pregnancy may occur. So, this is uh, a uh, two ovum, two separate ovum is fertilized by the two sperm. So two zygote is formed and two zygote is formed to blastocyst. This is seen in dizygotic twin pregnancy. This is monozygotic twin pregnancy, a single zygote is formed. This single zygote is in the very early part of the development, they able to split successfully, then they produce two separate blastocyst and two inner cell mass so what happened they can able to produce two chorion these are the chorion and they would be able to produce two separate placenta two amniotic sac two yolk sac so this type of pregnancy is known as the dichorionic diamniotic twin pregnancy. The monozygotic twin if uh, in the later part of the development they already produce blastocyst but blastocyst this blastocyst contain two inner cell mass and two inner cell mass is separate from each other. So these two inner cell mass produce two amniotic cavity but single chorion because the outer cell mass is single, blastocyst is single, so it produces one chorion, one placenta. So this type of pregnancy is known as the monochorionic diamnotic twin pregnancy. And this is another type of monozygotic twin pregnancy. Here the single blastocyst is formed and two inner cell is mass is formed, but they are very close due to their closeness or single amniotic cavity is formed. So this type of pregnancy is known as the monochorionic monoamniotic twin pregnancy and is all contain single placenta. So dichorionic diamnetic twin pregnancy. It is already discussed, it is seen in the dizygotic twin and it also seen in monozygotic twin when single cell zygote split completely in the very early part of the development. This is uterus, two chorion, two amnion, two fetus, two placenta. Monochorionic diamnetic twin pregnancy. 
it is seen uh, monochronic amniotic twin pregnancy seen in monozygotic twin pregnancy single zygote is produced single blastocyst which contain two inner cell mass and single outer cell mass so single outer cell mass is produced the single chorion and single placenta and two inner cell mass is produced two yolk sac and two amniotic sac so this is uterus single chorion two amniotic cavity two fetus single placenta the monochronic monoamniotic twin pregnancy here two inner cell mass is produced but they are very close so due to their closeness the single amniotic cavity and single yolk sac cavity is formed uterus single chorion single amniotic cavity single placenta and two fetus This is the sonographic picture of dichorionic diamniotic twin pregnancy. This is monochorionic diamniotic twin pregnancy. This is monochorionic diamniotic uh, sorry mono amniotic twin pregnancy. So this is all about this video. If you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe my channel.